The Unveiling presents a cosmic tale of origins, exploring the eternal dance between light and darkness through the allegories of the gardener and the winnower. Thought to be narrated by the witness, it delves into the philosophical and metaphysical debates that define the game's existential backdrop. Today, we explore the intricate layers of this narrative, uncovering the nuanced relationship between creation, destruction, and the species behind them like the precursors. Is the Winnower actually a being within the darkness, or is it just a metaphor? The unveiling lorebook which came out in Shadowkeep presents a philosophical narrative exploring the origins of the game's universe through the allegory of the gardener and the winnower. This narrative delves into the fundamental forces and principles that govern existence, characterized by light and darkness, growth and decay. The gardener symbolizes creation, diversity, and the force of light. It seeks to introduce new rules to promote complexity and evolution. And on the other side, you have the Winnower, representing simplicity, inevitability, and the force of darkness. The Winnower enforces the natural order and elimination of the unworthy. The unveiling text examines the balance between these forces, suggesting that the universe's complexity and life itself stem from their interplay. The relationship between the Traveler, the Witness, the Gardener, and the Winnower is nuanced and steeped in metaphor. The Traveler is often associated with the Gardener due to its role in promoting growth, diversity, and life across the universe, aligning with the Gardener's ethos of fostering complexity and evolution. We heard it referred to as the Gardener in the Season of the Deep cutscene with the Witness's precursor species, and Osiris even describes it as a Gardener. They called it the Gardener, their deity of life. It ushered them into a golden age. For eons they prospered. But their newfound god never spoke to them. It lavished them with gifts, but not with guidance. We believed we were the champions of the good because we wielded the light. If these are not moral forces, if they are not opposites, what are they? At its root, the Traveler is a terraformer, a gardener. It generates natural life, physical transformation at a molecular scale across whole planets. This should have been our first hint. The domain of the light is the domain of the physical. The Witness has been closely linked to the forces of darkness, suggesting a connection to the Winnower's principles of inevitability, simplicity, and the calling of the unworthy. The universe makes us all victim. In cruelty. However, it's strange though, because the lore suggests that the Gardener and the Winnower are cosmic principles or forces that transcend individual entities like the Traveler or the Witness. The Winnower exists as a concept or force rather than being strictly synonymous with the Witness, embodying the dark aspect of the cosmic balance. This interpretation allows for a broader understanding of Destiny's thematic exploration of light versus dark, growth versus decay, and the complexity of their interplay within the universe. Bungie had this to say about the unveiling. Welcome to the problem that all Bible scholars have been trying to figure out. What may or may not have happened, and lining that up to actual historical events, says senior narrative designer Robert Brooks. Unveiling is a parable. It is effectively a religious text. And how much of that is propaganda, how much of that is myth, how much of that is fact is deeply unclear in the nature of the text. A parable, a simple story used to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson. So currently it's up in the air like it has been. We don't have a solid answer. Some things from unveiling may be true, some not, or maybe in a little bit different of a way than we thought. The unveiling is the witness's religious text of sorts, the Bible of that species. So what about the veil? The veil is an artifact of darkness. Where does that fit in? 
The Veil as a paracausal entity similar to the Traveler, referred to as the Gardener, implies that while it may serve as a tangible representation or instrument of the Winnower's principles, the Veil is connected to the Traveler or was at one point, and the role of the Witness in attempting to unite these forces suggests more complexity between these elements, aiming to bring about that final shape. They desired meaning, structure, a winnower, to shape the garden. Their scholars discovered that the gardener shared a connection with another entity among the stars. They called it the Veil, and when they found it, they arrived to claim it. By studying the Veil, they came to know the darkness. A power that was shaped by thought and consciousness. And in the darkness, they found the means to carve away the chaos of existence. To calcify it into a final shape. Eternal. And perfected. Having witnessed the truth in the darkness, they used its binding power to merge themselves into the salvation they craved. Thus began the Witnesses' pursuit. So, from a certain perspective, maybe the gardener described is the Traveler. The Winnower, its opposite. Maybe forces of darkness like the Veil, the Precursor race merged into one being to squash its creation. The Traveler is clearly sentient and the Veil was a part of it at one point, but as seen in the Witness cutscene, the Witness wanted purpose. Much like the Winnower, they sought to winnow everything to find that purpose. Unveiling is believed to be told from the perspective of the Winnower, also believed to be told by the Witness, so it makes you wonder the true nature of what's going on here. In the pages seen in the Final Shape Collector's Edition promo images, Members of the Precursor species of the Witness speak about the Gardener and their thoughts in the final shape. Beautiful Swarm on their great fatal error. It did not stop at the Conqueror's primacy sovereign from using the gifts it granted for subjugation. Are we to accept that these two were meant to happen? If you reject the notion that destruction can be a final shape, how are we to accept that the Gardener allowed us to make such previous mistakes? Even after all these millennia, there is much we do not understand about the Gardener. Perhaps we will not understand until we have achieved the final shape for ourselves. And when we have reached the final shape, will it all make sense? Will we all be able to live in a universe where people act as they have always acted for the self-evident good? where evil does not exist because we do not allow it, where all are aligned without suffering or doubt. This isn't like you, my friend. I am coming to see you. All will be well. After that, there is some scribe notes from Ido, who is examining this text. Where the text came from, I don't know, but she got a hold of it somehow. The final shape is no longer described with a semantic cluster. But HNW and RS continue to use that structure to describe other concepts, potentially reflective of semantic narrowing. Given the terminology, this consensus might have been some sort of governing body or a source of philosophical guidance. From the context, some sort of computational assistant, there appears to be some sort of etymological overlap with the names of Vex Minds, something to investigate later perhaps. So in that text, that precursor species is talking about the final shape. There might have been some sort of philosophical source guiding them as Ido describes. Maybe something that forced them to all merge eventually into this witness. Is the Winnower what the witness aspires to be, or is it its own entity? The thought is that this is all a metaphor, but something created the Traveler and the Veil. They came to exist in some way. Also consider Ishtar's experiments with the Veil. Osiris speculated that they almost created a human version of the Witness because of the Veil, merging their minds through it into a singular mind. During that experiment, or before it, something spoke to Maya in her own voice. 
It's definitely paracausal, like the Traveler. Maya calls it the Veil. She says she heard the name in a whisper when... when she looked at it. When I asked her who whispered, she said it was... her own voice. They're all... dead. Chorus. Conductor. Everyone. It was too much. Swept their minds away like... like grains of sand on a beach. They're all dead. It's like... Like their lives held no value to Dr. Sunderish. There's a troubling symmetry with data we've recovered from Titan. Data on the origin of the witness. It too was once multiple people that became conjoined by the way of some sort of ritual with a veil. Perhaps a conductor and a chorus. It is troubling that Dr. Sunderish seemed to be moving down that same path. I don't like this, Osiris. I don't like this at all. So it would seem kind of strange if it was the witness that spoke to Maya. Why would it want her to do the same thing to make a human version of the witness? Maybe it helps achieve the final shape, but that's something it's already after. It's super powerful enough already. So the veil, a force of darkness, whether the witness or veil in general, spoke to Maya telling her to achieve this. The idea of this win over the concept could fit through the darkness itself, the force. The veil is a source of darkness, an artifact that deals with memory. It might have spoke to Ishtar and Maya's mind. Maybe spoke to the precursors when they found it floating in space when they saw it more meaning, the veil guiding them to that meaning. In the cutscene, they sought a winnower. The veil is then shown, which in turn turns them into the witness. So in the end, we don't have an answer. Signs point to an allegory, mythical text, or Bible-like following by the precursors, but some of it may actually be true. The gardener, this winnower, and the beings that aspire to be like it, or it itself. But what if the winnower is separate and above that of the witness and creator of this darkness? That would also be a pretty crazy twist. We've seen some weird incidents in the lore where forces of the darkness references Oryx as my man Oryx. And that of course doesn't sound like the big bad witness. But then again, that was also long ago and writing has changed, I'm sure. An oasis in the desert. Seeds of hope. Buried beneath the sands. Nomads. Wanderers. Travelers. Their journey comes to an end. The first to be claimed by the deep. The first to fall victim to the witness. A city of light. A, a flourishing garden. A silent god withholds a, a deeper truth. Questions unanswered. A longing unfulfilled. The sky darkens as a new journey begins, shrouded in darkness. A promise of, of something more. Two halves of a whole, long divided, a schism between them. Reunited, a glimpse beyond, to the beginning, anathema, calamity, that which cannot, must not come to pass, a wordless denial, a fleeing god, betrayal, and escape. The pursuit for the final shape. Those lines are interesting now when we listen to them as a whole. Asa relays the same thing Osiris spoke about. The Veil and Traveler were two halves of a whole, long divided, a schism between them. A schism, a split or division between strongly opposed sections or parties caused by differences in opinion or belief. So, Traveler and Veil split because of a disagreement disagreement by who? The Traveler and Veil? 
higher forces in dark and light, or their creators. The disagreement straight up sounds like Gardner and Winnower from this story, but then you throw in Traveler and Vale and things get kind of strange. The Traveler is sentient, we know that. The Vale is kind of more confusing. And while it's fun to try and analyze the lore and gameplay for secrets and answers, Bungie could pull out anything. Remember that they had some type of Traveler entity planned for the base game of Destiny 1 that never got used. Yet, at least. Ilya Abalkanov, who was with Prologue Films at the time, had these concepts. Abalkanov now works at The Mill, who still makes cinematics for Destiny. They recently made the Final Shape trailer. Obviously, it's all up to Bungie and the story team and what they do, but we can't rule out crazy alien gods in a space magic video game like Destiny. There's clearly something going on at least with the Traveler and whatever created these entities. Now, I'm not the first one to come up or explain these crazy theories and ideas. I was just thinking about the topic again recently and wanted to speak it out loud. The final shape will hopefully give us more insight, but for now we're stuck with these mythical tales of the unveiling. Do you think the Winnower is a separate entity, above the Witness and tied into the darkness? Is it a concept that that precursor species made up and now aspire to be, that Winnower themselves, destroying the life the Gardener Traveler creates and advancing toward that final shape? Or do you think it's something else entirely? Anyway Guardians, that's all we got for today's video. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.